Alrighty. I'm back in here again. I don't know how many days it's been. A couple of days. But I have, I actually went ahead and after I did the epoxy the other day, I coated this with some, I actually hit it with some, gosh dang it, I can't even think right now. I hit it with some uh, filler primer. That's, that's what I was looking for. Hit it with filler primer first, then I coated it with some of my watered down stuff. And... I did a little sanding on it, and I didn't like some of the spots, especially like right here on the neck. I didn't like the that spot, so I sanded that a little bit more, and I put some Bondo on there. But the main part that I had to Bondo was where I got a little uh, crazy when I was gluing. I did some, well, it was this side right here. I had a horrible spot right here, because I did, I printed this, the dome part on the printer just in one solid piece and then I did um, the second part right here third part fourth part fifth part so five pieces on the on the big dome well that part right there where I, when I glued it was just horrible I I didn't get it lined up very good so I'm just too impatient that's my problem but you know what? It's, I like make, messing with this stuff anyway. So if I mess up, I just fix it or try to fix it the best I can. Anyways. So what we're going to do now is, because I hate hand sanding Bondo, I've got my little DeWalt orbital sander here. And it's empty. Thank God. It's usually not. It's usually full and then I keep sanding with it. Well, it's full and then it blows everywhere, but I'm going to wear a respirator. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sand those spots and then I'm going to hand sand some of this so that we can uh, get this baby, get this baby going. There's a couple of spots still that need some attention. There's this, if you can see that line in the, in the light the right way, there's a line right here where it was connected. There's a little bit of a line right here. Not much. And, of course, a line on this side, too. And then the one that I bondoed right there on the neck, but that's not going to be hard to fix. But that's really it. I mean, most of it looks pretty good. i gotta, I got to do some micro sanding right there on the schnoz. It's a little ugly looking right there. If I can get to focus, focus, focus. Right there. So... Do some micro sanding on that, but let's get to it. Let's sand and get going. All right.
Not too bad in here. All right, so I actually missed this spot, but I'll do that in a second. So I got most of it sanded down pretty good with the old orbital. It looks like crap right now, but it's actually pretty smooth. Um, I, I see there's still some spots that I'm gonna have to fix, but um, those will those will eventually be covered up when I put some some more wood filler on it. And I'm using DAP. I'm using DAP plastic wood. It's a latex plastic wood or plastic. It's called plastic wood latex wood filler. DAP brand. And I know there's a lot of debate. You know, uh, is wood filler good? Should you use wood filler? You know, there's so many different things to use. I mean, I'm not saying that my way is the right way at, by any means. It could be the worst way, but I've done quite a few helmets and I've never had a problem with it. I don't know. I've just never had any problem with it. It's, it is messy as hell. When you sand it, it's freaking messy because it's just like sawdust pretty much when you're sanding wood filler off. It's just dust. So don't, <laughs> when I do these videos, I'm not trying to, to tell you that everything that I do is the right way. I'm just documenting, documenting as I go along building these things. The first one that I documented, the, the Death Trooper, which is sitting over there, and the helmet is up on the, on the orange, whatever you want to call that. That's actually <laughs> a shotgun tube that a shotgun comes in. Uh, Mossberg shockwave, but beside the point. That's the first build that I documented on camera. I've done other things. I've done my, my uh, sand trooper. Um, I've done quite a few helmets, and then I printed a whole another death trooper costume before I did this one. But it was uh, I just didn't like the file. I won't name the whose file it was or anything because I'm not. I don't want to talk bad about anybody or anything but yeah so I've done quite a few things I'm not saying that I'm a professional maker at, by any means okay so don't take don't take what I do or what the videos that I make as this is the only way to do it there's it's just like graphic design that's what I do for a living okay and if I try to tell somebody how to do if I teach somebody how to do Photoshop my way and then my partner that works in the in the office with me teaches somebody uh, teaches the same guy how to do the same things he's going to teach them differently than i taught them because there's just so many different ways to do things uh that's why i love art stuff like that's why i love graphic design that's why i love pottery that's why i love drawing uh, that's why i love doing this type of stuff making things there's so many different ways to do things there's no right or wrong way to do anything there's just whatever works for you and wood filler works awesome for me it goes on easy i just i'll paint it on here tonight and then tomorrow i'll come in here sand it off and this thing will probably be nice and smooth by the time i get done with it tomorrow hopefully <laughs> i'm not gonna uh, i'm not gonna get too carried away but so that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna sand this down a little bit more by hand We'll come back and then we'll apply a watered down wood filler on it. And then tomorrow I'll sand it. And the same process I did with the Death Trooper helmet. I mean, it's just the same thing. So y'all stay tuned. Hey guys. So I'm sitting here, I've been hand sanding this for a little bit and I wanted to show you, um, I've had a lot of people ask before, like about the sanding in the weird little spots and uh, I've seen a lot of posts actually people asking what they use for like sanding little tiny areas like right like right here or these grills right here the uh, Vader grill but this is what I use for for the grills and stuff like that I'll use these little files they're a little bitty it's just a little bitty file that I got from I believe I got it from Harbor Freight I mean I get a lot of these these tools from from there but yeah so if you if you look like right here you can see that little bump right on that thing right there I just take this slide it in there and just file those little places down and I'll run it across this whole thing just 
the whole length. Just kind of file, filing it down a little bit at a time. And then by the end, you get it pretty straight right there. Let's see how straight that is. Just by using these. And it, I mean, it, it actually files the, it'll file down the plastic and it'll go through like the primer and all that stuff. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna file those little grills down real quick and you can, you can I'll try to show you how I'm doing it. I'm just. When I say micro sanding, that's kind of what I mean. I'm using these files or I'm using, uh, I'll use a little popsicle stick with some, and super glue some sandpaper to it or something like that. But honestly, most of the time, when I'm doing these tight little spots like this, I just use these. Cause I mean, they'll pretty much get it, get it pretty good. Let's see if I can show you this nasty, Okay, you see this nasty spot right here on this bottom grill or this the one that's on the bottom in the camera i'm going to do that one right now and i'll show you what it looks like afterwards So now it's flat right there. There's a nice, underneath that is a little bit of junk. Let me get that off of there. All right, so oh, well, there's a little spot. Let me get that real quick. So I got that grill pretty good. I mean, it's it's pretty straight now, and all the little dingleberries, if you will, are gone. And I don't know, it wasn't that hard, really. I mean, using this, it's a heck of a lot better than trying to bunch up some sandpaper and shove it down in there, or put some sandpaper on a stick. It just, you got these little files on hand, ready to go. I've got, it comes with the set, is like 16 pieces or something like that. Ridiculous amount of little files. Some of them are pointy. Some of them are flat. Some of them are like triangle shaped. I mean, it's just, there's so many of them. But yeah, they work great. So get you some little files if you're going to be doing some helmets that have little tight little spots. And that's what I actually used on these, on these right here. Because there was a bunch of CLA glue on there still. I used this. I mean, it looks... It looks horrible right now because it's <clears throat> it's got a couple of different 
layers of stuff on it, but it's actually pretty straight. Right there on that. You can kind of see it against my black shirt. Yeah. Micro, little micro files. Get you some. All right, so we're going to come back and do some uh, wood filler, watered down wood filler. And y'all can just watch me do that. And then tomorrow we'll come back and sand it all down.